this is what I've said to a lot of the brothers in consultation as well that instead of being spectators we need to be getting involved and making our you know making our opinions our voices heard on these issues and really getting more involved in this you understand because um, in other words Obama is in a position where if we don't speak up about this issue he's probably going to do basically what seems best and convenient for him and recognize well there's no real opposition to certain things therefore you know um, we got to do this you understand but I think what we've noticed about President Obama throughout his um, his uh, meteoric rise and everything is that he, he does listen you know to those groups that make the most um, convincing logical and even balanced case and I still think that we have an ability to make a case about this whole African Union AFRICOM situation vis-a-vis um, -vis what's going on this world stage and this is one reason why we kind of sit back and we watch these things happen over and over again and we complain and say look what they're doing look what they're doing and so forth and so on and we really don't use the power of you know our intellect our voices you understand our hearts our minds our hands to make a difference we more or less wait until it happens you know, we sit aside and look and say, well, we all, it has to be fulfilled instead of getting involved in this. Since we recognize how the story ends, we do know how the story ends. It is written how the story ends. The real question is where do we stand in this ever unfolding story and prophecy? So the ball basically is in our court and we can do more than just be spectators about this. But there are certain basic principles that we, first of all, need to um, come to a more collective uh, agreement about, such as the good news about this matter, the foundation of Rastafari being the true good news of detaching Jesus Christ. So our, our spirits, our hearts, and our minds can be firmed up, can be firmly grounded on that, you know, on that firm foundation, that rock of, you know, that rock of truth, that rock of Christos. And then from there we can go out then into the world and truly represent the 21st century ministry of his imperial majesty effectively touching on even many of these global so-called and world issues such as africa such as the african union such as economics and such as trade and really use the talents that god has given us for more than sitting down in the corner and saying fire bun fire bun fire bun and just you know just burning you know in a sense burning out our brain cells instead of utilizing the true spiritual high that we have in the true way of God in Christ more effectively in our walk in the world being in the world but not being of the world many of us have have withdrawn from the world you understand and, and and instead of being in the world and not of the world and getting that clear is is the first level of the ministry of his imperial majesty becoming disciples learning of Gietach and Jesus Christos learning of the true teachings of his imperial majesty and true testimony of Gietach and Jesus Christos so these issues these little I call them little, but these religious kind of issues is is Christ white or black? That's that's a basic issue. That's a kindergarten issue. We have to get over this kindergarten issue whether Christ is black or white. I mean, the evidence is right there. Those who, you know, those who don't believe or don't want to believe it, you know, they are unbelievers. Those who want to deny it, they are deniers. You understand? We must focus our effort on encouraging the brotherhood, encouraging the sisterhood respectively, on encouraging the family of his imperial majesty in Christ and doing the work that is incumbent upon us to fulfill his will and spirit and truth. This is just the overview. There's more details to touch on that, but I think some of what we've discussed right here is very important at the outset of, of setting somewhat the context for what we will go into more detail about. I mean, it's very important that we, we, we let the President of the United States know exactly, 
you know, how we feel about this issue. But then we shouldn't just be dealing with our feelings and, and speculations. We should really become more informed about it. So when we express an opinion on this issue, it's not just an emotional opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's one that's a factual opinion where the facts are so glaringly clear that even the President Obama could take these facts and recognize, hey, they, they, they have a real point and a real issue. I think we have a, a good opportunity in this day and time to make a real difference. I, in fact, I don't just think I know this. And if you are spiritually in tune, you'll recognize this as well. But we need to get off a lot of the hype, whether it's about Obama or whether it's about this or that, and start to look at things in the reality that they that, that they should be seen in. So I hope this is helpful for my brothers and sisters and look forward to the teleconferencing. Um, if you do want to link I and I or want us to give you a call and start to you know have a communication and link through our channel or other emails, you can send a telephone number to link with us and we will also link with you and or send you the the number for our teleconferencing coming up and let us know what subject areas you know you are interested in just give us a little bit about yourself the sign on to the the line of judah dot ning especially um brothers and sisters be patient with us because the harvest is ready but the laborers are few and therefore we're praying and seeking to work to increase the 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 worthy laborers in the vineyard those who are able to truly bring this to fruition. So give thanks.